for much of this afternoon, Judge Judith Enzor listened to testimony from Terrence Cody. The defense trying to portray him as an animal lover, the prosecution claiming he starved his dog to death. Former Baltimore Raven, 27-year-old Terrence Cody, is charged with aggravated animal cruelty, neglect, illegal possession of an alligator, and possession of marijuana. The prosecution trying to prove a dog named Taz, a Presa Canario, also known as a Canary Mastiff, similar to this one, died of starvation. And the dog's owners, Cody and his girlfriend, Courtney Kelly, are responsible. Her attorney claims Cody solely owned the dog. Cody's attorneys conceded neglect, but claims his client did not intend to kill the dog and cried after taking Taz to Main Street Animal Hospital in Reisterstown when the veterinarian tried but could not save the dog. The animal died hours later. Cody testified he spent $8,000 buying the dog and importing it from Spain. Baltimore County Police Sergeant J. Andrew McClellan described executing a search warrant January 21st, two days after the dog died. McClellan testified officers noticed the odor of marijuana as they entered the house on Old Gray Mare Court in Owings Mills. Inside the home, they found 19 grams of marijuana, drug paraphernalia, including a six-foot bong, a gas mask improvised for smoking, and pipes. They also found a two- to three-foot alligator in a three-foot tank. McClellan told the judge Cody said the alligator was a gift received when the Ravens won the Super Bowl. Police also noticed in the garage a bad, strong odor. They found this dog cage with food and animal waste. The police officer also testified Cody told him Taz became sick. He thought it was heartworms. He kept the dog in the garage because Taz was a protection dog. Cody testified when he realized Taz was not doing well, he put the dog in the front seat of his truck and went to the vet. He told the judge, I asked them could they help me with my dog because my dog was very sick. He also testified that in conjunction with his uncle, he runs and operates a dog breeding kennel, a dog breeding kennel in Alabama, and his girlfriend chose not to testify. Testimony is over at this point, and starting on Monday, there will be closing arguments. Reporting live from Towson, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.